BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Let's go get a blessing. Turn to Deuteronomy, Devarim 16, please. Vamos a Deuteronomio 16. Deuteronomy 16, please. Deuteronomio 16. Deuteronomy 16. Deuteronomio 16. This is a message HB004. Este es el mensaje HB004. It is called Shavuot 2015. Y se titula Shavuot 2015. Two banners. Dos banderas. Two banners. Dos banderas. We're going to be in Deuteronomy, Devarim 16. Vamos a estar en Deuteronomy 16. Verse 16 and 17. Versos 16 y 17. May Oscar, could you just raise up level 2 a little bit because my voice is now gone. Deuteronomy 16, verse 16 and 17. Deuteronomy 16, versos 16 y 17. Three times a year all your men are to appear in the presence of Jehovah your Elohim, in the place which he will choose, at the festival of Matzah, the festival of Shavuot, and at the festival of Sukkot. They are not to show up before Jehovah empty-handed, but every man is to give what he can in accordance with the blessing Jehovah your Elohim has given you. Amen? Amen. What this uh, is talking about que lo que esto está hablando is something in Hebrew called the Rigalim. Es algo en hebreo que se llama los Rigalim. Rigalim meaning three times a year. Rigalim que significa tres veces al año. And all the men of God que todos los hombres de Dios are going to have to appear before the Lord once the temple is up. Van a tener que aparecerse ante el Señor una vez que el templo esté levantado. But we're practicing that now. Pero estamos practicando esto ahora. So that when the time comes, you're going to know what to do. Para cuando el tiempo venga, sabrás lo que tienes que hacer. What is interesting, what it said there. Lo que es interesante, lo que dice allí. Is that each holy day. Es que cada día. That was mentioned there. Que fue mencionado ahí. Matzah, Shavuot, and Sukkot. Matzah, Shavuot, y Sukkot. You are going to have to bring something to offer to the Lord. Van a tener que traer algo para ofrecer al Señor. In the festival of matzah, what did we have? Y en el festival de matzah, ¿qué tuvimos? We had matzah, right? Tuvimos la matzah. We lifted up matzah to the Lord. Levantamos la matzah al Señor. Now today, el día de hoy, there's something that you have to have in your hand. Hay algo que tú debes tener en tu mano. Stay in microphone. <laughs> what you have to have in your hand, lo que tienes que tener en tu mano, is two loaves of bread. Son dos pedazos, dos panes. Because it's Sukkot, what do we have in our hand? Porque en Sukkot, ¿qué tenemos en nuestras manos? We have a, a lulav, right? Tenemos un lulav. So the Lord wants you coming to his house. El Señor quiere que vengan a su casa. Specifically on these times. Específicamente en estos tiempos. These times are special times of remembrance. Estos tiempos son tiempos especiales de recordación. And these days are different than a normal Shabbat. Y estos días son uh, diferentes de un Shabbat normal. You need to appear in the presence of the Lord. Necesitas estar en la presencia del Señor. But these particular times, Pero en estos tiempos particulares, these, you know, we don't always bring 
two loaves of bread, right? No siempre traemos dos pedazos de pan. You don't always bring matzah, right? No siempre traemos matzah. So the Lord is saying there's something different about each of these holy days. El Señor está diciendo hay algo diferente de cada uno de estos días santos. In the times that he commanded. En los tiempos que él manda. See, today we're bringing the bread. El día de hoy estamos trayendo el pan. And why are we bringing the bread? ¿Y por qué estamos trayendo el pan? How did you get this bread? ¿Cómo es que obtienes este pan? Well, God had to bring the rain, right? Dios tuvo que mandar la lluvia, ¿verdad? How, he had to bring enough rain and enough sunlight Él tuvo que mandar suficiente lluvia y luz del sol that can make the flour, right? Que puede hacer harina. And then the flour became your bread, right? Que la harina después se hace tu pan. But what is happening around the globe right now Pero lo que está pasando alrededor del mundo ahora is a lot of droughts going on in many countries que hay muchas sequías en muchos países because they don't want to do what God has asked them to do porque ellos no quieren hacer lo que Dios les pide hacer and here we have a regalim y aquí tenemos un regalim okay so we have matzah tenemos la matzah Shavuot, Shavuot Sukkot. Sukkot that's why when you read in Acts chapter 2 that the, the religious Jews were there in Jerusalem que los judíos religiosos estaban en Jerusalén and why were they there this is what the church doesn't understand why were they there well because Deuteronomy says they had to be there because what happens if you don't show up God says I'm going to take away your rain I'm going to take away your food source so they had to be there to be there with their Father in Heaven. Para estar con su padre en el cielo. Because this is our lives. Porque estas son nuestras vidas. See, we have three holy days in the spring. Tenemos tres días santos en primavera. One right now, this is early summer. Uno ahora que es el comienzo de verano. And one set at the end of the whole, at the end of the year. Y uno que es hecho al final del año. You have to look at it like the menorah. Tienes que mirarlo como la menora. You see three pipes going out here, right? Y ves tres tubos saliendo por ahí. You got Passover. Tienes la Pascua. Hag matzah. Hag matzah. Bikurim. Y Bikurim. Then you have Shavuot in the middle. Entonces tienes Shavuot en la mitad. And it's very important about this candle. Y es muy importante este, esta vela, esta see, lámpara. See, what you're supposed to do Lo que tú debes hacer is the center candle es que la, la vela central is supposed to light the others. Debe alumbrar al resto. The middle candle la is the one medio. that lights all the others. Es la que alumbra a, a las otras. It is the candle on the menorah called the shamash. Es la vela que en la menorah se llama el shamash. In this middle holy day y este día santo del medio, is the one where God gave us his light. Es el que Dios nos dio su vida. Because this is when God gave us the Torah. Porque aquí es cuando Dios nos dio su Torah. Because you can't get to the middle one without leaving bondage. Porque no puedes llegar a la del medio sin dejar la esclavitud. See, we left bondage in the first set. Dejamos esclavitud en el primer grupo. We had our Passover. Tuvimos la Pascua. We left Egypt on Hag Matzah. And then we celebrated the first fruits. Y después celebramos los primeros frutos. The day we left Pharaoh behind. El día que dejamos al faraón atrás. And then 50 days later. Y 50 días después. We come to the candle that lights everything. Llegamos a la, a la vela que alumbra todas las cosas. Turn to Leviticus 23 please. Vámonos a Levíticos 23. Leviticus 23. Leviticus 23. Leviticus 23, Leviticus 23, verse 15 through 17. Verso 15 a 17. Leviticus, Vayakra 23, Leviticus 23, verse 15 through 17. Versos 15 a 17. From the day after the day of rest, that is, from the day you bring the sheep for waving, you're to count seven full weeks, until the day after the seventh week. You're to count 50 days, and then you are to present a new grain offering to Jehovah. You must bring bread from your homes, for waving, two loaves made with one gallon of fine flour, baked with leaven as first fruits for Jehovah. Amen. 
So the first part we need to look at la primera parte a la que tenemos que mirar. Because this is why there's some differences in Messianic Judaism. Porque por eso hay diferencias en el judaísmo mesiánico. Because they're following the rabbis. Porque están siguiendo los rabinos. If you look closely at verse 15. Si te fijas de cerca en el verso 15. It says from the day after the day of rest, that is from the day you bring the sheep for waving, you're to count seven full weeks. So the day after the day of rest of Passover. El día después de descanso, después de Pascua. Because here it says rest, it says Shabbat in the Hebrew. Porque dice descanso y dice Shabbat en Hebreo. So if Passover is on a Wednesday, y la Pascua es el miércoles, this is why this holy day doesn't have a set date. Por eso es que este día santo no tiene una fecha señalada. Because one year Passover might be a Monday. Porque un día Pascua será un año, Pascua next, será lunes. The next year it might be a Thursday. El siguiente año quizás sea un jueves. So, but still you have to wait Pero aún debes esperar until after the Shabbat. Hasta después del Shabbat. Then you start counting 50 days. Y después comienzas a contar 50 días. The only thing it will always be is it will always begin on a Sunday eve a Saturday evening. Lo único que será es que siempre comenzará un sábado en la noche. And how do you understand that? ¿Y cómo entiendes eso? See, if a baby is born on a Monday, a baby boy is born on a Monday. Si un bebé varón nace el lunes. Okay, and he's going to be circumcised on the eighth day. Y va a ser circuncidado en el día octavo. Count out your days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Monday again is your eighth day. El lunes otra vez es tu octavo día. Okay, does everybody understand it? Because that messes people up. Porque entienden esto porque el lunes... Well, I thought a week was seven days. Yo pensé que la semana tenía siete días. You count that day. Cuenta ese día. On the eighth day. Y en el octavo día. So the same would go with Shavuot. Lo mismo pasa con Shavuot. You start counting that 50 days on that Saturday night. Comienzas a contar los 50 días en ese sábado en la noche. This is why it doesn't have a set day. Por esa razón es que no tiene una fecha Because señalada. Because the Passover, the 14th, Porque la Pascua, el 14th, falls on a Monday. Cae en un lunes. Shavuot follows that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Shavuot. Sigue, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, you got to get to your bickering and then start counting your days. Y después comienzas a contar tus días. This is why God wants you to count. Por esa razón es que Dios quiere que cuentes. Keeping things in your mind for the next 50 days to count Mant to get to the light. Mantén las cosas en tu mente por los próximos 50 días que cuentes then, hasta la luz. The next part we need to understand la próxima parte que tenemos que entender is verse 17. Es verso 17. Look at verse 17. Veamos al verso 17. You must bring bread from your homes for waving. Two loaves made with one gallon of fine flour baked with leaven as first fruits of Jehovah. For Jehovah. Amen? Amen. So the one thing that is very important for this holy day Una de las cosas <clears throat> que es, muy importante para este día santo. is learning how to bake. Es aprender cómo hornear. That's why we had the class. Por eso es que tuvimos la clase. And that's why Veronica ran the class. Por eso es que dimos la clase. Because Baking is not like cooking. Porque hornear no es como cocinar. Cooking is not scientific. Cocinar no es científico. Cooking is taste oriented. Cocinar es uh, orientado al sabor. No, it needs a little bit more hot sauce. Necesito un poquito más de salsa. Needs a little bit more salt. Necesito un poco más. Needs a little more basil. O quizá un poco de albahaca. No, fresh pressed garlic. O quizá ajo fresco. But that's all taste oriented. Pero todo se orienta al 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 probar. But baking is not that way. Pero la, el or, el hornear no es lo mismo. If you put more than a teaspoon of Something in here. Si pones más de una cuchara de, de algo. Like if it calls for a package of leavening. Como que si te pide un paquete de levadura. And you're like, well, that doesn't look like enough. Y tú dices, no, no se ve mucho. And you decide to put three packages of leavening in. Y tú decides poner tres paquetes de levadura. What's going to happen to your bread? ¿Qué va a pasar con tu pan? It's going to get really big, right? Se va a ser muy grande. Okay, so here God is saying, I want you learning how to make bread. Aquí Dios está diciendo, quiero que aprendas cómo hacer el pan. I want you understanding what you have to do. Quiero que tú entiendas lo que tú tienes que because hacer. Because it has to come from your home. Porque tiene que venir desde tu casa. Not from the bakery. No de la panadería. Well, I don't know how it's going to taste. Pero no sé cómo vas a ver. Well, you just got to have a little piece. Solo tienes que probar un poquito. Okay, and we'll get to the reason later on. Y vamos a ver la razón después. Why it's got to be cooked on Friday. Porque tiene que cocinar, ser cocinado. And why not tonight? 
¿Y por qué no está well, the sun went down. Why? El sol bajó. ¿Y por qué? What is the purpose of that? ¿Cuál es el propósito de esto? Okay, here the word in Hebrew Aquí la palabra en hebreo for waving para mecer. it's a very important word. Es una palabra muy importante. The Hebrew word is tenufa'a. La palabra hebrea es tenufa'a. Tenufa'a. Everybody say tenufa'a. 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 It almost sounds like Asian. Suena casi you want soup with that? Tenufa'a. Okay. Tenufa'a. Doesn't it sound Asian? Suena como asiático. But what it means. Pero lo que significa. It means swinging. Significa menear. Waving. Agitar. An offering to the Lord. Una ofrenda mecida al Señor. So what you're going to be doing later on Lo que vas a hacer después, is you're going to be doing tenufa'a. Es que vas a hacer tenufa'a. Tenufa'a. You're going to be tenufa'a. waving, vas a mecer. swinging your bread before the Lord, el pan hacia el Señor. waving your hands in the air like you just don't care. Moviendo tus manos en el aire como si no te importa. Okay, you're going to wave them in the air. Vas a en el aire. But not just one hand. Pero no solo una mano. Not just two hands. No solo las dos manos. You're going to wave them high in the air. Vas a en el aire. And you're going to say to the Lord. Y le vas a decir al Señor, I'm here. Estoy aquí. I am waving my banner before you. Estoy moviendo mi bandera ante ti. This is your banner above your head. Esta es tu bandera sobre tu that cabeza. you brought from your house. Que tú trajiste de tu casa. It's very important to understand that this is a banner. Es muy importante entender que esto es una bandera. This is a banner from your house. Esta es una bandera de tu casa. One in each hand. Uno en cada mano. Why? In each hand. ¿Por qué en cada mano? We'll get to that later on. Vamos a llegar a eso en un poquito. Okay. Now, verse 17 again. Verso 17 otra vez. You must bring bread from your homes for waving two loaves made with one gallon of fine flour baked with leaven as first fruits for Jehovah. Amen? Amen. This holy day is about getting puffed up. Este Día Santo se trata de, de levantarse. What do you mean getting puffed up? ¿Cómo que levantarse? Because God gave us something on this day. Porque Dios nos dio algo en este día. That raises us above any other nation. Que nos levanta por sobre otras naciones. Today is the day where we accept God's commandments. El día de hoy es el día que aceptamos los mandamientos de Dios. That raises us above everybody else. Eso nos levanta por sobre todo so el the, resto de personas. The reason you're bringing this bread La razón que estás trayendo este pan because he is the bread of life. Porque él es el pan de vida. And this is why Yeshua said you got to eat of my body. Y por eso es que dice Yeshua debes comer de you mi cuerpo. You got to eat of this bread of life. Tienes que comer de este cuerpo de vida. Because when we raise our hands above our head We're surrendering to God. And the leavening, and the leavening is raising us above. It's, it's, some, it's an agent that makes things go big. Like on hog matzo, What, is, what does the bread look like? It's flat, right? It's a cracker, right? Because we were in bondage then. But now, we were in bondage for Passover. Hog matzah, God doesn't want any puffiness in your life. The Bikarim, we're leaving Pharaoh behind. And now Shavuot, God's going to puff you up. He's going to raise you up high Dios te va a levantar en alto. if you accept the terms for the contract. Si aceptas los términos del contrato. Today is the day el día de hoy es el día that God gave us the marriage contract que Dios nos dio el contrato matrimonial. in a walk that leads to eternal life. En un caminar que nos lleva a la vida eterna. Turn to the book of Mishlai, the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, please. Vámonos al libro de Proverbios, capítulo 4. Proverbs 4, verse 7 through 23. Proverbs 4, verse 7 through 23. How's everybody doing? Long day? Yeah. Don't worry, there's bread at the end of it. Carbs, my favorite. And there's cream cheese and butter and jam and peanut butter. 
And I think there might be cheese. And grape jelly. Ooh. Proverbs 4. Proverbs 4. Verse 7 through 23. In the beginning of wisdom is get wisdom and along with all you're getting, get insight. Cherish her and she will exalt you. Embrace her and she will bring you honor. She will give your head a garland of grace, bestow on you a crown of glory. Listen, my son, receive what I say. And the years of your life will be many. I'm directing you on the way of wisdom, guiding you on the paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step won't be hindered. And if you run, you won't stumble. Hold fast to discipline. Don't let it go. Guard it, for it is your life. Don't follow the path of wickedness, of wicked, or walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Don't go on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they can't sleep if they haven't done evil. They're robbed of sleep unless they make someone fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, shining ever brighter until full daylight. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They don't even know what makes them stumble. My son, pay attention to what I am saying. Incline your ear to my words. Don't let them out of your sight. Keep them deep in your hearts, for they are life to those who find them and health to their whole being. Above everything else, guard your hearts, for it is the source of life's consequences. Amen? Amen. Let's go back to verse 8. Let's pull this apart and see how this deals with Shavuot. Vamos de vuelta al verso 8 y veamos que esto tiene que ver con Shavuot. Cherish her and she will exalt you. Embrace her and she will bring you honor. Amen? Amen. Shavuot is about what? Shavuot se trata de qué? It is about receiving wisdom. Se trata de recibir la sabiduría. Every year God calls you back. Cada año Dios te llama de vuelta. And he wants you to recommit yourself to the commandments of him. Y quiere que te vuelvas a comprometer con los mandamientos de él. That's why in Acts 2, Por eso es que en Hechos 2, all those people groups that you read about, todos esos grupos de personas que lees, they were there in Jerusalem to get wisdom of God. Ellos estaban en Jerusalén para obtener sabiduría de Dios. For on this day Shavuot. Porque en este día Shavuot. On this day. En este día. This is the day he gave us the perfect word of life. Este es el día que nos dio la perfecta palabra de vida. And he said if you keep these things. Y dijo si Ruth, guarda estas cosas. If you keep these things. Si guarda estas cosas. You're promised a long life. That's it. A ti se te promete vida larga. If you keep these things, si estas cosas, you're promised prosperity. A ti se te prometerá prosperidad. If you keep these things, si estas cosas, you're promised children. Se te prometerá niños. If you keep these things, si guardas estas cosas, you're promised safety. Se te prometerá sa seguridad. How many people wouldn't want that? ¿Cuántos no quisieran eso? How many people want that? I want that. ¿Cuántos quisieran eso? That's what Shavuot is about. De eso se trata Shavuot. Also what Shavuot is about. También lo que se trata de Shavuot. If you honor the Lord's word, Carmen. Es que si honras la palabra del Señor. Don't worry, he'll return the favor. No te preocupes que regresará el favor. God is a man that never breaks a promise. Dios es un hombre que nunca rompió una promesa. Hey, let me say that again. Maybe you Latin ladies didn't hear that one. Déjame decir otra vez quizás las mujeres latinas. God is a man. Dios es un hombre. I know that it's hard to believe, ladies. Yes, sir. I know that's hard to believe. Yo sé que es duro de creer. But he's a man that keeps his word. Pero es un hombre que mantiene su palabra. And the men here that are doing this y el aquí que está aquí, es understand the role that you play now el papel que estás ahora. in running your family with this honor en tener esta fami tu familia en este in this mantle that you've been given en este manto que se te ha dado. look at Proverbs 4 verse 11 and 12 now Vamos a 4, 11 y 12. I'm directing you on the way of wisdom guiding you on, in paths of uprightness when you walk your step won't be hindered. If you run, you won't stumble. Amen? This is talking about Shavuot. Esto se trata de Shavuot. Because from this day, 
Porque en este día, from the Bikarim, desde el Bikarim, when we left Egypt behind, when we walked through that Red Sea, cuando dejamos Egipto atrás y, y entramos por el Mar de los Juncos, it took 50 days, nos tomó 50 días, 50 days, 50 días, for us to get to the mountain, para que nosotros lleguemos a la montaña, where God gave us His word. Donde Dios nos entregó su palabra. So what is being said in this proverb? Lo que está diciéndose aquí en este proverbio. God's directing your steps. Es que Dios está dirigiendo tus pasos. If you if you number your days, si enumeras tus días, you won't be hindered. No serás lastimado. If you run to God, si corres a Dios, you won't stumble. No tropezarás. That's what Shavuot is about. De eso se trata Shavuot. This is why they were there in Jerusalem in Acts chapter 2. Por eso es que estaban en Jerusalén en Hechos 2. They wanted to be there, tongues of fire. Ellos querían estar ahí, lenguas de fuego. upon their head. Cayeron sobre sus cabezas. Because on that mountain, Porque en esa montaña, on this day Shavuot, en este día de Shavuot, remember a mountain doesn't go like this. Recuerda que la montaña no se ve así. And you had people in front of you, you had 603,000 men. So if you're a short guy, Joshua, come here for a second. Come here, I, I, got, I, got, I got to have a, you know, I need my, my prop again this year. Steve, you were last year. Now, Joshua, how tall are you? Six foot three. I'm six foot. All right. Now, now come here. Come here, Twin Tower. <laughs> And it's like the old Knicks, the Twin Towers, Cartwright and uh, Cartwright and Ewing, right? Well, I'm dating myself right there. <laughs> All right, stand next to him. Stand next to him. So, he, no, 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 stand up, stand up. So, so here I'm on the mountain behind the Twin Towers. <laughs> Now, God is up there. Because we're down low on the mountain. Porque estamos en la montaña. And I'm looking behind Twin Tower number one here. Y estoy bajando y viendo And I'm looking up at the sky up here. Estoy mirando a este muchacho acá. His head looks like it's got fire on top of it. Y su cabeza se ve que tiene fuego sobre él. So I'm going like this. Estoy en así. I'm going like that. And then, then I'm over, I move over here and, I, and another <laughs> anakite in front of me. Y hay otro muchacho enfrente mío. So I'm going like that. Ah! This isn't working. Esto no está hey, sit down, gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> so this is why Por esta razón, in Acts chapter 2 you see the fire resting upon their heads. Tú ves el fuego re, des, eh, eh, descansando sobre sus cabezas. It was a representation Era una representación of Shavuot, de Shavuot when the fire rested upon their heads. Cuando el fuego descansó sobre sus cabezas. Because we'll get to it. We're going to read it in a minute. Porque vamos a llegar a eso y lo leeremos en un minuto. But if you walk to that mountain, everybody, Pero si caminas a esa montaña, you're not going to stumble. Tú no vas a tropezar. If you want God's words more than anything else, Ruth. Si quieres la palabra de Dios más que todo. Clarabel, if you want God's words more than anything else. Si quieres la palabra de Dios más que de todo. Your steps won't be hindered. Tus pasos no serán lastimados. He will direct your steps so that you can follow him. Él dirigirá tus pasos así que lo puedes seguir. You won't stumble no tropezarás if your focus is God. Si tu enfoque es Dios. Counting the Omer, Contar el Omer and its culmination y su culminación is the path of uprightness. Es el camino de... de, de um, Somebody help her out? Isabel? De justicia. Okay. Proverbs 4, verse 14 now. Proverbs 4, verse 4. Don't follow the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evildoers. Amen? Amen. What would be the path of the wicked? ¿Cuál sería el camino del malvado? What would be the path of the evildoer? ¿Cuál sería el camino del hacedor de Somebody that's doing Pentecost. Alguien que está haciendo Pentecostés. Because that is not in our Bible. Porque eso no está en nuestra Biblia. They're not understanding that this is a day we receive, keep the Sabbath holy. No están entendiendo que este es el día que recibimos el guardar el sábado como They're going to get together at their churches tomorrow. Van a reunirse en sus iglesias. They're going to be waving their hands in the air. Y van a mecer. They're going to be slaying. Ah, 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 ah. Y van a ser golpeados. That's all evil. Todo esto es malvado. Because God is a God of order. Porque Dios es un Dios de orden. You don't follow their paths. Ellos no siguen. You run from their paths. 
Tú cami- tú te de sus because caminos. God does not change. Dios nunca Now look at verse 18. Ahora veamos al verso 18. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, shining ever brighter until the full daylight. Amen? Amen. The path of the righteous. La senda de los justos. That's talking about the counting of the Omer. Está hablando de contar del Omer. The, del Omer. What happened in this 50-day period? Lo que pasó en este periodo de 50 días. Is absolutely amazing, and we're going to go over it tonight. Es sorprendente y vamos a ver esta noche. We're going to take an overview from Exodus chapter 12 to Exodus chapter 20. Vamos a ver a, a ver un, una reseña de Éxodos 12 al 20. Okay, you're going to see what amazing events happened in this time period. So that we would lead to the path of righteousness. And today is that day that you learn what the goal is. Today, today is the day that you receive your marriage contract. Es el día que recibirás tu matrimonio, tu contrato matrimonial. And you're going to understand why. Y vas a entender por qué. Now, Proverbs 4 verse 18. Proverbios 4 verso 18. Is a direct quote from Exodus 19 verse 16. Es una cita de de Éxodo. De Éxodo what? 19 versículo 16. Éxodo 19 versículo 16. Okay. You will get the light that shines forever. Tú tendrás la luz que brilla por siempre. If you take God's laws. Si tomas las leyes de Dios. But here is the most important line of this proverb. Pero aquí es la, la línea más importante de este proverbio. Verse 23. Verso 23. Look at verse 23. You might want to underline. Veamos al verso 23 si quizá lo quiera señalar. Above everything else, guard your heart, for it is the source of life's consequences. Amen. If you guard your heart, si tu corazón, if you guard your your heart from being deceived by the adversary, si tu corazón por ser engañado del adversario, and any and anybody who says, y cualquiera que dice, you don't need the law anymore, tú no necesitas la ley más, you say I'm guarding my heart. Forget you. Le dices, Estoy cuidando mi corazón, I want nothing to do with you anymore. No quiero nada contigo. Because God never changes. Porque Dios nunca cambia. Don't let man-made traditions take you off his path. No dejes que las tradiciones hechas del hombre te quiten de su camino. That's why we don't do tradition here. Por eso es que no hacemos la tradición aquí. It's a walk with God. Es un camino con Dios. It's a relationship with God. Es una relación con Dios. That's what he wants. Eso es lo que él quiere. It's not about an idol. No se trata de un ídolo. It's not about some guy in a black little box. No se trata de un hombre en una cajita pequeña. Today is the day he wants to meet you face to face. El día de hoy es el es el día que te quiere conocer cara a cara. And extend his hand out to you. Y ex- extender su mano. And bring it to his family. Y traerte a su familia. He count the days leading to today. Él contó los días llegando hasta este día. Because if you don't do these things, you're going to pay the consequences. Porque si no haces estos días, entonces pagarás las consecuencias. So the question is this. La pregunta es esta. The question esta. is this. La pregunta es esta. Why did Jehovah command us to do this each and every year? Por qué Jehovah nos manda hacer esto cada año? I know it's not biblical. Yo sé que no es bíblico. But how many people remember their birthday? Pero cuántas personas recuerdan sus cumpleaños? How many people remember their birthday? Cuántos recuerdan su cumpleaños? Okay, you know, we don't celebrate birthdays in the Bible. No Why? No celebramos cumpleaños en la Biblia, ¿por qué? Because every time we see a birthday in the Bible, somebody loses their head. Porque cada vez que vemos un cumpleaños en la Biblia, alguien pierde la cabeza. In the, in the book of Exodus, what happened? En el libro de Éxodo, ¿qué pasa? The baker, you know, Pharaoh's birthday, psh, lost el his head. El panadero en el cumpleaños de Faraón perdió su cabeza. Okay, and in, in the New Testament, what happened? En el Nuevo Testamento, ¿qué pasó? That girl danced so nice for her daddy. Esa mujer, esa niña bailó tan bonito para like? su padre. ¿Te gusta? Wild and crazy guy. And he offered up half the kingdom. Y él ofreció la mitad del reino. And she said, give me the head of John on a platter. Y ella dijo, dame la cabeza de Juan en un platillo. And it was a birthday party. Era una fiesta de cumpleaños. But let's get back to remembering something. Pero vamos a recordar algo. How many day people remember the day that you were born again? ¿Cuántos días recordaron el día que nacieron otra vez? Remember that day. Recuerda ese día. Because this, God wants you to remember His day. Porque Dios quiere que recuerde su día. Shavuot is a day that we remember the day He gave us the contract. Shavuot es el día que Él nos dio para recordar el día que nos dio su contrato. How many men remember their anniversaries? ¿Cuántos hombres recuerdan su aniversario? How many men remember their 
marriage anniversary. You better, because if you don't, Oscar, you're going to have a problem. <laughs> I remember that day almost 29 years ago. 29. We'll be 29 coming up this year. 29. We've been together 32 years. 32 years. Whew. Time for an oil change. <laughs> 32 years together. We met um, years ago. But what Shavuot is, is remember the day that God gave us a promise. And that's why he wants you counting the days to Shavuot. Now let me explain a Hebrew marriage. But first let's go to John 14 and I'll explain it. Vamos primero a Juan 14 y lo explico. John 14. Juan 14. John 14. Juan 14. This ties together with Shavuot. Y esto se ata con Shavuot. John 14. Juan 14. Verses 1, 2, and 3. Versos 1, 2, y 3. Ah, Hadassah, I hear you. Shh. <laughs> John, Yochanan 14. Juan 14. Verses 1, 2, and 3. Versos 1, 2 y 3. Don't let yourselves be disturbed. Trust in God and trust in me. In my Father's house are many places to live. If you weren't, if there weren't, I would have told you. Because I'm going there to prepare a place for you. Since I'm going to prepare a place for you, I will return to take you with me so that where I am, you may be also. Amen. See, a lot of people don't understand this because they don't understand the ancient Hebrew wedding. Mucha gente no entiende esto porque no entiende la boda hebrea antigua. See, what Yeshua is doing is something very Jewish. Lo que Yeshua está haciendo es algo muy judío. Now, how does a Jewish wedding work? ¿Cómo es que una boda judía trabaja? See, the bridegroom comes to the father's house. El novio viene a la casa del padre. And he works out a deal with the father. Y hace un contrato con el padre. He says, uh, you know, hey, Darwin... You got this daughter Tiffany here. And you know, in a few years, you know, I think Tiffany might make a good wife someday. So Darwin, uh, you know, let's work out a price for Tiffany. A buck 380. Okay? So in, in a Jewish wedding, this is what Yeshua was doing. Es lo que hacía. He came to the father's house. Él venía a la casa del padre. He makes a contract with the father of the bride. Él hace el con el padre de la novia. He pays the price for the bride. Él paga el de la novia. And then what happens y lo que pasa después, is he leaves. Es que él se va. He leaves él de, él se va. and he says, I'm going to prepare a place for my bride. A place better than the one she's living in. This is why Yeshua said, I go to prepare a place for you. But you know what? I'm going to give you my word. And this is what Shavuot is all about. God gave us his word. Dios nos dio su palabra. That he was is preparing a place for us. Que fue a preparar un lugar para nosotros. And heaven's going to be better than this place, let me tell you. Y el cielo va a ser mejor que este lugar. I mean, it's going to have streets paved with gold. Va a tener calles pintadas de oro. You know what heaven's going to have? ¿Sabes qué va a tener el cielo? No car alarms. No va a tener alarmas de carro. No more. Beep, 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 beep. You know what heaven's not going to have? ¿Sabes que el cielo no va a tener? Those little stupid mufflers on little men's cars. Esos uh, uh, escapes de los carros de los hombres. He, I'm a little car. I'm a little car. En los carros. Though what heaven's not going to have? El cielo no va a tener. Motorcycles with mufflers that rattle my windows. Motocicleta con tubos de escape que hacen temblar mis ventanas. And many other things. Y muchas otras cosas más. And Yeshua has been preparing it 
for 2,000 years. Y eso ha estado preparando por 2,000 años. And remember, he's a carpenter. Y recuerda que él es un carpintero. He's building something beautiful. Él está construyendo algo hermoso. But you only get there Pero únicamente llegarás as we ahí. learned this morning Como aprendimos esta mañana. if you do what my father wants. Si haces lo que mi padre quiere. And the father wants you celebrating Shavuot. Y el padre quiere que celebre Shavuot. He made a contract with us Él hizo un contrato con nosotros. and that's why you have to understand y por eso tienes que entender. It's the contract. Es el contrato. Margarita, if you keep the contract, si tú guardas el contrato, God's never broken a promise. Dios nunca ha roto una promesa. You can go up to heaven. Puedes subir al cielo. And you said, I have kept your contract. Y puedes decirle, I contrato. did your holy days. Yo di tus días santos. And God will honor his word to you. Y Dios honrará tu, su palabra en ti. Turn to Deuteronomy 16, please. Vámonos a Deuteronomio 16. Deuteronomy 16. Deuteronomio 16. Verse 10 and 11. Versos 10 y 11. Devarim 16, Ruth. Devarim de, de 16. Verse 10 and 11. Versos 10 y 11. Deuteronomy 16. Deuteronomio 16. Verse 10 and 11. Versos 10 y 11. You are to observe the festival of Shavuot. For Jehovah your Elohim with a voluntary offering which you are to give in accordance with the decree to which Jehovah your Elohim has prospered you. You are to rejoice in the presence of Jehovah your Elohim, you, your sons and daughters, your male and female slaves, the Litvaim living in your towns, and the foreigners, orphans and widows living among you. In the place where Jehovah your Elohim will choose to have his name live. Amen? Amen. Who was in that group? ¿Quién estaba en ese grupo? We, we got to celebrate it with those goyim again. Tuvimos que, tenemos que celebrar con esos goyim otra vez. Carmen, I got to celebrate it with the Puerto Ricans. Tengo que celebrarlo con los puertorriqueños. I got two Puerto Ricans right in front. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Tengo dos puertorriqueños en delante mío. Francisco, I got to... Mexicans. Tengo que celebrar con los mexicanos. Mexicans. Mexicanos. Darwin, where are you from? <laughs> well, where, where did you land when you came from heaven? In Ecuador. In Ecuador. Oh, not with the Ecuadorians again? No, con los ecuatorianos otra vez. We got all those Colombians. Y todos los colombianos. Felix, where are you from? The Dominican. Oh no. No, con los dominicanos. Oh no. It, the. The Cubans? Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Man. Yep, God said it's for everybody. Dios dice que es para todos. He wants everybody at his house on this day. Él quiere a todos en su casa en este día. Because he made a promise to the world. Porque él hizo una promesa al mundo. That's why Yeshua said, I am the light Por eso of Yeshua, the world. Yeshua dice, Yo soy la luz del mundo. And I make you a promise. Y te haré una promesa. That if you walk in these steps, que si caminas en estos pasos, between here and here, entre este y este, and accept the promise, y aceptas la promesa, and you make a promise to me, y haces una promesa para and you mí, wave your banner to me, y mueves tu bandera para mí, then he's going to remember his promise to you. Entonces recordará su promesa contigo. No matter who you are. No importa quién seas tú. But to understand that, Pero para entender esto, to understand why we're sitting here. Para entender por qué nos estamos you know, everybody looks a little tired. Todos se ven un poco you know, we went, you think you're tired? ¿Crees que estás cansado? Eduardo, Flavian, what time, did, <laughs> what time did we leave here last night? ¿Qué hora salimos esta noche? One, no, we left here at 1.10 in the morning. Salimos a la 1 y 10 de la mañana. We didn't, I didn't get to bed till two, and he didn't get to bed till three. But, you know, fill me up. Lléname. Pero lléname. Fill my cup to overflowing. Lléname hasta que mi, fill, mi with God, sea, all sea, things are possible, right? Con Dios todas las cosas son posibles. To understand why we're still here today. Para entender por qué estamos aún aquí. You got to understand Exodus 12, Shemot 12, Tienes que entender Exodus 12 through 20. Hasta el 20. Now we're going to go an overview y ahora vamos a ver una of each of the chapters. De cada uno de los capítulos. Because to understand Shavuot, Porque para entender Shavuot, you got to understand what happened from the Reed Sea, Tienes que entender qué pasó or actually from Passover, 
to the Reed Sea, to those 50, there's so much that happened in those first 50 days. This is why God wants you to remember your promise. So go to Exodus 12, and we're going to look at verse 1 through 6. Jehovah spoke to Moshe and Aaron in the land of Egypt and said, You want to begin your calendar with this month. It will be the first month of the year for you. Speak to all the assembly of Israel and say, On the tenth day of this month, each man is to take a lamb or kid for his family, one per household. Except that if the household is too small for a whole lamb or kid, then he and his next door neighbor should share one, dividing it in portion to the number of the people eating it. Your animal must be without defect, male in its first year, and you may choose it from either the sheep or the goats. You are to keep it until the 14th day of the month, then the entire assembly of the community of Israel will slaughter it at dusk. Amen? We're focusing on verse 6. We have to understand this first, this first light. We've got to understand Passover. That we have to celebrate that each and every year. We got to remember that God chose us over the Egyptians. That God slew the firstborn of the Egyptians. And because we put the blood on our door, we got redeemed. By following what God wanted, lo que Dios quiso. now remember by putting the blood of the lamb on the door, Recuerda, por poner la sangre, en una puerta, the Egyptians would have found that reprehensible. Los egipcios hubieran encontrado eso repugnante. And you would have been killed. Y hubiera sido asesino. But God spared our lives. Pero Dios, uh, salvó nuestras vidas. So understanding Shavuot, Entender el Shavuot. So we first got to understand we got through Passover. Primero tenemos que entender que pasamos Now look at verse 43 and 44. Veamos los versos 43 y 44. You always said to Moshe and Aaron, this is the regulation for the Pesach lamb. No foreigner, goyim, is to eat it. But if anyone has a slave, he bought for money. When you have circumcised him, he may eat it. Amen? So what, what, what Shavuot is, is, Lo que Shavuot es. is remembering the circumcision. Es recordar la la circuncisión. That God sets his people different than the world. Que hizo de, de su pueblo, eh, Diferente de los del mundo. But you can't celebrate the Passover. No la you can't be obedient to Yeshua. No ser a Yeshua. Didn't Yeshua say, do this in remembrance of me? No dijo Yeshua, es mía. But you can't eat of the lamb Pero no comer del cordero, unless you're circumcised. A no ser que sea and Yeshua already bought you. Yeshua ya te compró. For 30 pieces of silver. Por 30 piezas de plata. For 30 pieces of silver. Por 30 piezas de plata. He bought the world. Él compró el mundo. Okay? So now he says, remember the circumcision. Ahora dice, recuerda la circuncisión. Remember this journey that you're on. Recuerda este este caminar en el que estás. Now verse 49 to 51. Verso 49 al 51. The same teaching is to apply equally to the citizen and the goyim, the foreigner living among you, all the people of Israel did just as Jehovah had ordered Moshe and Aaron. And on the very day, Jehovah brought the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their divisions. Amen? Amen. He didn't just bring the Jews out. No solo sacó a los judíos. He brought the Jews and the Gentiles out of Egypt. Those Gentiles willing esos judíos, esos gentiles dispuestos, willing dispuestos to be circumcised for God's purposes. A ser circuncidados por los propósitos de Dios. So Shavuot, Entonces, Shavuot is remembering that God took us by the hand and brought us on a journey to walk with him to get to his holy mountain and the journey started with Passover. Now turn to Exodus Shemot 13. Let's look at verse 1 and 2. Exodus 13 verses 1 and 2. Exodus 13, verses 1 and 2. Exodus 13, verse 1 and 2. Jehovah said to Moshe, Set aside for me all the firstborn, whatever is first from the womb among the people of Israel, both of humans 
and of animals belong to me. Amen? Amen. What Shavuot is, is that we are God's first children. Es que somos, uh, los de Dios. Yeshua is what? Yeshua es que? He's a Catholic. Él es no, he's an evangelical. No, es evangelista. He's a Mexican. Es mexicano. He's a Puerto Rican. Es Puerto Rican. No, no, not a Puerto Rican. No, Puerto Rican. Yeshua is who? He's a Jew, right? Yeshua is a Jew. He was born in Israel, right? In Israel. Okay. So here, being set aside. Aquí el ser apartado. Shavuot is about being set aside. Shavuot se trata acerca de ser apartado. What, what else? What other word can you use for being set aside? ¿Qué otra palabra puedes utilizar para ser apartado? Kadosh. Kadosh. Holy. Santo. Separated. Separado. Shavuot is about being separated for God's purposes. Shavuot se trata de ser separado para los propósitos de Dios. And that we are God's chosen people. Y somos la gente escogida de Dios. Look at verse 19 and 20. Veamos al verso 19 y 20. Moshe took the bones of Yosef with him, for Yosef had made the people of Israel swear an oath. He said, God will certainly remember you, and you are to carry my bones up with you away from here. They traveled from Sukkot to set up camp at Etam at the edge of the desert. Amen? Shavuot is remembering our promise. Shavuot is recordar nuestra promesa. Because we had to remember to bring Joseph's bones porque out of Egypt. Porque tuvimos que recordar el traer los huesos de, de Joseph fuera de Egipto. Shavuot is remembering that we keep our vows. Shavuot se trata de que debemos guardar nuestros votos. That's votos. why we're here. Por eso estamos aquí. That's why when the sun went down. Por eso cuando el sol cayó. We entered into his holy day. Entramos en, tu, en su día santo. Because as for me and my house. Porque mi, yo y mi casa. We're going to serve the Lord. Vamos a servir al Señor. And I'm going to remember my vows. Y voy a recordar mis votos. I'm going to remember my vows. Voy a recordar mis votos. I was talking with our new brother Gabriel before. Estuve hablando con nuestro hermano. And we're looking at older pictures. Y estamos mirando and a he said, you didn't have a beard that long all the time. Dice, no tenías fotografía. Yeah, no tenías I fought with God. Sí, peleé con Dios. I fought with God. Peleé con Dios. You know, this long beard. Esta barba larga. You know, maybe if I ride a Harley that's not noisy. Si tuviera una Harley que no está you know, this could fly in the breeze. Podría encontrar una or make a gigantic handlebar mustache. O hay una, una manubrio de, de barba. But God said, remember your vows. Pero Dios dice, recuerda tus votos. It's all or nothing. Es todo o nada. And as soon as I let this begin to really grow, y tan pronto dejé que esto crezca, that's when the Lord started to bring all y'all here. Ahí es donde Dios comenzó a traer a todos. So you could bring, you could blame everything on the beard. Así puedes culparle a la barba. Because we were like 20 or 30 people Porque when I kept my beard short. Cuando tenía mi barba corta éramos como. As soon as I started to let the beard grow. Tan pronto que dejé crecer mi barba. And remembering my vow to God. Y recordando mi voto con Dios. We would jump to 50. Subimos a 50. And now, what, what the, where's it? Uh, where did Eduardo go? He usually counts. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, we, I think we had 80 people here today. Y ahora creo que tenemos como 80 there were no personas. seats left. Y no había sillas que quedaban. Shavuot is remembering what we promised to God. Shavuot se trata de recordar lo que uh, le prometimos a Dios. Do you remember what you promised to God? Recordaste lo que prometiste a Dios. I won't work Sabbaths. Yo no trabajaré los sábados. I won't do this, I won't do that. No haré esto, no haré este otro. Making that foundation esa is remembering your promise. Es recordar tus promesas. Now we look at verse chapter 14. Ahora veamos al capítulo 14. Chapter 14. Capítulo 14. Verse 13 and 14. Verso 13 y 14. Moshe answered the people, Stop being so fearful. Remain steady and you will see how Jehovah is going to save you. He will do it today. Today be, you have seen the Egyptians, but you will never see them again. Jehovah will do battle for you just Calm yourselves down. Amen? Shavuot is remember God is for us. 
Shavuot se, re, se trata de recordar que Dios es para nosotros. That God will fight for us. Que Dios peleará por nosotros. If we keep our promises. Si guardamos sus promesas. If we keep the Passover. Si guardamos la Pascua. If we keep circumcising our children. Si, si, si seguimos circuncidando nuestros hijos. Then we don't have to worry like the first ones that were leaving Egypt. Entonces no tenemos que preocuparnos como los primeros que se fueron de Egipto. Shavuot is remembering. Shavuot se trata de recordar. That God parted the the Reed Sea. Que Dios partió el mar rojo de los juncos. Shavuot is remembering that we walked through Shavuot es recordar que pasamos with 3,000 feet of water on either side of us. Por medio de 3,000 pies de agua en, a nuestros lados. Imagine Imagínate. You're walking through the Reed Sea estás caminando por el mar on rojo, dry ground en tierra seca. and there's 3,000 feet feet of water on either side of you. Y hay tres mil pies de agua en los dos lados de ti. Who is this guy Moses? ¿Quién es este hombre Moisés? Do we know him? Sabemos él. He's 80. Maybe he lost his marbles. Él tiene 80. Quizá perdió su mente. He's 80. Maybe he's got that sometimer disease. Él es, <laughs> él tiene 80 años. Quizá tiene la enfermedad de Alzheimer. Shavuot is remembering. Shavuot es recordar. God's mighty hand la mano poderosa de Dios that took Jew and Gentile que sacó al judío y al gentil out of the house of grace fuera de la casa de la gracia and he gave us the house of his laws y nos dio la casa de sus leyes because in Egypt we were living under grace porque en Egipto estábamos viviendo bajo gracia you understand that everybody, right? entienden eso, ¿verdad? We, there were, we were not under the law in, gra in Egypt no estábamos bajo la ley en Egipto and when you don't have law you have man's rules, right? cuando no tienes ley no tienes and man's rules are not nearly as good as God's rules, right? So Shavuot is remembering we left Pharaoh behind. And we got to God's mountain. Shavuot is remembering that we had fear que tenemos temor. But God calms our fears. Pero Dios calma nuestros temores. If we walk with him. Si caminamos con él. Who was leading us out of bondage? ¿Quién nos estaba guiando fuera was de la Was it Moses? Esclavitud? Era Moisés? No. No. Who was leading Moses? ¿Quién estaba guiando a Moisés? Jehovah was leading us out. Jehovah nos estaba sacando. To walk with him. Para caminar con él. Shavuot is remembering that we could walk in the desert and God will provide for us. How many believe that promise? I believe that promise. Look at verse 21 and 22. Moisture reached out his hand over the sea and Jehovah caused the sea to go back before a strong east wind all night long. He made the sea become dry land and its water divided in two. Then the people of Israel went into the sea on dry ground with water walled up for them on the right and on the left. Amen? Amen. 3,000 feet of water. Tres mil pies de agua. But we walked on dry ground. Pero nosotros caminamos en tierra seca. Shavuot is remembering that you got to trust no matter what your eyes see. Shavuot se trata de recordar lo que, uh, de confiar. No let me, importa lo que, let lo me, que veas. Let me say that again. Déjame decir otra vez. Shavuot is this. Shavuot es esto. Remembering to trust in Jehovah. Recordar el confiar en Jehovah. No matter what your eyes see. No importa lo que tus ojos vean. It could look like it's going to be something bad. Puede mirarse como que es algo malo. You know, we sang Baruch Haba this morning. Cantamos Baruch Haba esta mañana. Man, I hope I'm alive that day. Eh, espero que esté vivo ese día. You know, sometimes I joke about dying. Hay veces que bromeo de morir. But imagine being on the battle in the valley of Megiddo. Pero imagínate estar en la guerra en la batalla. There's a hundred million man army coming at you. That's what the book of Revelation says. And what do you have? All right, I'm ready. Okay, estoy listo. Yes. Sí. If God is for us, si Dios está con nosotros, who can be against us? ¿quién puede estar en contra de nosotros? With God, all things are possible. Con Dios, todas las cosas Amen. 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 So here, Shavuot is about learning that trust. Aquí en Shavuot se trata de aprender esa, esa confianza. He chose us. Él nos escogió. He said, come and follow me. Él dijo, ven y sígueme. 
Let's go to Exodus 15 now. Vamos a Éxodo 15 ahora. Exodus 15. Éxodo 15. Verses 1 through 6. Versos 1 al 6. Exodus 15. Verso Éxodo 15. Anybody, everybody happy you've made it to this far? Están felices que You're learning something? Este momento. This is why God wants it. Esto es lo que Dios quiere. And here is the song that we're going to remember. Aquí está la canción que siempre recordaremos. Shemot 15 verses 1 through 6. Then Moshe and the people of Israel sang this song to Jehovah. I will sing to Jehovah, for he is highly exalted. The horse and its rider he threw in the sea. Yah is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my Elohim. I will glorify him. My father is Elohim. I will exalt him. Jehovah is a warrior. Jehovah is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he hurled into the sea. His elite commanders were drowned in the sea of stuff. The deep waters covered them and they sank to the depth like a stone. The right hand, Jehovah is sublimely powerful. Yes, sir. In the right hand, Jehovah shatters the foe. Amen? Amen. Now verse 2 is your key. Verso dos es tu clave. Look at verse 2. Yah is my strength and my song and he has become my... Salvation. This is my Elohim. I will glorify Him. My Father's Elohim, and I will exalt Him. In the word Yeshua. In the palabra Yeshua. I mean, in the word salvation. In the palabra salvación. Change it to Yeshua. Cambialo a Yeshua. Because that's what it says in the Hebrew. Porque eso es lo que dice en el Hebreo. Yah is my strength and my song, and He has become my Yeshua. Translate. Okay. Yehovah. Es mi fortaleza y mi, cam, y mi cántico y ha sido mi Yeshua. He has become my Yeshua. Y él se ha convertido en mi Yeshua. That's what Shavuot is about. De eso se trata Shavuot. That the Word became flesh. Que la palabra se hizo carne. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God and the Word became flesh. En el comienzo era la palabra y la palabra era con Dios y la palabra de Dios y la palabra se hizo carne. Amen. <laughs> okay. But this is what we're singing each Shavuot. Pero eso es lo que cantamos cada Shavuot. Yah is my strength and my song and he has become my Yeshua. This is my Elohim. Oh, we were talking about that in Road to Emmaus. Estuvimos hablando de eso en la ruta de Emmaus. Didn't our sister over there you asked about it see God knew that you were going to ask the question and Yeshua has become our Elohim that we see in Genesis chapter 1 now we move on to Shemot chapter 16 chapter 16 verse 1, 2 and 3 They traveled from Elim, and the whole community of the people of Israel arrived in the Sin Desert between Elim and Sinai. On the 15th day of the second month, after leaving the land of Mitzrayim, there in the desert the whole community of people of Israel grumbled against Moshe and Aaron. The people of Israel said to them, We wish Jehovah use his own hand and kill us all in Egypt. There we used to sit around pots With meat boiling, we had as much food as we wanted. But you have taken us out into this desert and the, the whole community assembly starved to death. Shavuot is remembering Shavuot is to stop being so daggone whiny. De dejar de ser muy quejumbroso. Learning how to trust. Well, why am I not getting that job? Is God in charge or what? Trust him. Confía en él. But the Jews, this is what's happening in that 50-day period. Para los judíos, esto es lo que pasaba en este periodo. And here, here, it's one month later. Es un mes después. 30 days later. 30 días después. We're already whining and complaining. Y ya nos estamos quejando y. Oh, no we, we, why didn't God kill us with His own hand? Me dijo que Dios nos hubiera matado con su propia mano. Oh, we're going to starve out here. There's no 7-Elevens. Nos vamos a morir de hambre aquí. No hay 7-Elevens. No oh, my goodness. Look at all these Jewish people. They would be coming to my 7-Eleven. Look, Johnny, let's make slurpees. <laughs> so here, 
Shavuot is remembering Aqui Shavuot está recordando that God will provide food for those who follow him. Que Dios proveerá comida para aquellos que lo siguen. God will always provide food. Dios siempre proveerá comida. It may not be what you think you want. No va a ser quizá lo que cre- tú piensas Because everybody's got a little pinch of an inch that they might be able to get rid of. Porque quizá todos tienen un, una, una pulgada de perder. Okay? So here, God will not let you starve to death. Dios no te dejará morir de hambre. So quickly we forget. Tan rápido que nos olvidamos. This is why. Por esta razón. God said count the days. Dios quiere que cuente los días. Don't forget. No te olvides. Don't forget that I took you out of bondage. No te olvides que yo te saqué de la esclavitud. Now let's look at verse 4 and 5. Ahora veamos a los versos 4 y 5. Jehovah said to Moshe, here I will cause the bread to rain down from heaven for you. The people are to go out and gather a day's ration every day. But by this I will test whether they will observe my Torah or not. On the sixth day when they prepare what they have brought in, it will turn out to be twice as much as they gathered on other days. Amen? Amen? Amen. See, what we're reading now is during that time, Lo que estamos leyendo ahora es que durante ese tiempo, during this 50 day period, durante este periodo de 50 días, why God wants you to count your days, porque Dios quiere que cuentes tus días, is because God provided the manna from heaven. Es que Dios proveyó el maná del cielo. Every day, God rained down bread, cada día Dios hizo que lleva pan, from heaven, desde el cielo, that you had to go pick up off the ground, que tenías que recoger del, del piso. Six days a week, seis días a la semana, six days a week, seis días a la semana, you had to go out and collect the bread, tenías que salir a colectar el pan. And you couldn't keep any for the next day. No podías guardar nada hasta el siguiente día. You couldn't keep any for the next day. No tenías que guardar nada hasta el siguiente except día. Except on Friday. Excepto el viernes. Where it would last for two days. Donde duraría por dos días. This is why. Por esta razón. You made your bread yesterday. Es que hiciste tu pan ayer. Let me say that again. Déjame decir otra vez. This is why you don't bake your bread on Shabbat por eso for Shavuot. Es que no Ornas tu pan en Shabbat o Shavuot. Because Shavuot is about remembering that God brought the manna. Porque Shavuot es recordar que Dios trajo el maná. Welcome to Beth Goyim. Bienvenidos a Beth Goyim. And he provides for the two days. Y él provee para los dos días. That your bread won't go bad. Tu pan no se dañará. He'll provide for the two days. Él proveerá para los dos días. Because he gave us a double portion of manna Porque on Fridays. Porque él nos dio una doble porción de maná a los viernes. Look at verse 12 and 13 now. Vamos a los versos 12 y 13. I have heard the grumblings of the people of Israel say to them at dusk, you will be eating meat. And in the morning you will have your fill of bread. You realize that I am Jehovah your Elohim. That evening quails came up and covered the camp while in the morning there was a layer of dew all around the camp. Amen. Shavuot is about remembering se trata de that God didn't just bring the bread from heaven. Que Dios no solo mandó el pan del cielo. We complained we wanted meat. Y nos que queríamos carne. So God sent quail. Dios mandó Not a, Dan quail. Codornices. No codornices he, he sent quail, the birds to eat. No dan quail, sino codornices so much he said it's going to come out of your nose. Tanto que dijo que de tu nariz. So here, remember, Shavuot in ordering your steps Shavuot en ordenar tus pasos. is about remembering, Sandy, that God keeps his word. Se trata de recordar que Dios guarda su palabra. And when things get tough, Cuando las cosas se hagan when things get tough, everybody, las cosas se don't forget this. No te de esto. Don't forget that God will provide. No te que Dios he will provide enough to eat. Trust para comer. in Him. En don't él. be like my ancestors no seas como mis ancestros. and your ancestors because there must have been some Puerto Ricans there. Porque de haber algunos Because it said a mixed multitude left Egypt. Porque dice una multitud mixta dejó Egipto. There must have been some Cubans there. Quizá vieron cubanos. There must have been some Ecuadorians there. Vieron de haber ecuatorianos. Maybe even some Colombians. Quizá incluso colombianos. Where are you from? Equ- Another on Jiminy Crickets. Another Ecuadorian. They're just like growing like 
Bananas on a tree. <laughs> I'm not Ecuadorian. And you're Colombian, right? And you're Colombian. Just remember, God will always provide. Recuerda que Dios provee siempre. Look at verse 29 and, thir and 30. Vamos a los versos 29 y 30. Look, Jehovah is giving you the Shabbat. This is why he's providing bread for two days on the sixth day. Each of you stay where you are. No one is to leave his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. Amen? Amen. Shavuot is remembering Shavuot se trata de recordar that even in the desert, que incluso en el desierto, where there's nothing growing, donde no hay nada creciendo, God can rain down bread from heaven. Dios puede hacer que llueva, que llueva pan desde el cielo. God can bring quails from nowhere around you. Dios puede mandar codornices de, de donde de donde no hay. In verse 29 and 30, en el verso 29 y 30, this is why we don't cook por esta on Shabbat. Por esta razón es que no cocinamos en Because God said, I'm going to provide two days. Porque Dios dice que va a proveer dos días. Bake what you want to bake. Boil what you want to boil. Hornear lo que tienes que co hornear y cocinar lo que tengas que cocinar. No cooking on Shabbat. No cocinar en Shabbat. Not lighting a fire to keep your butt warm. Ni prender un fuego. No dice de prender un fuego para mantenerte caliente. He said no cooking. Él dice específicamente I provided no for you. Porque yo he provisto para so that you can rest. Prepara si puedes descansar. Now let's go to chapter 17. Vamos al capítulo 17. Chapter 17. Capítulo 17. Verse 1 through 6. Versos 1 al 6. The whole community of the people of Israel left the seen desert traveling in stages. As Jehovah had ordered, they camped at Rephidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. The people quarreled with Moshe, demanding, give us water to drink. But Moshe replied, why pick a fight with me? Why are you testing Jehovah? However, the people were thirsty for water. They grumbled against Moshe. For why did you bring us out of Egypt? To kill us, our children, and our livestock with thirst? Moshe cried out to Jehovah. What am I to do with these people? They're ready to stone me. Jehovah answered Moshe, Go on ahead of the people and bring with you the leaders of Israel. Take your staff in your hand, the one you used to strike the river, and go. I will stand in front of you, there on the rock in Horeb. You're to strike the rock, and water will come out of it, so the people can drink. Moshe did this in the sight of the leaders. Of Israel. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 6. You might want to underline it. Veamos al verso seis, y quizá lo I will stand in front of you there on the rock in Horeb. You're to strike the rock, and water will come out of it so that the people can drink. Moshe did this in the sight of the leaders of Israel. Amen? Amen. What did Yeshua say? ¿Qué dijo Yeshua? He said, Whoever is thirsty, Él dijo, que se concede, let him come to me. Que venga a mí. Strike the rock. And the living water will come out of it. Y el agua viva saldrá de ella. And Shavuot is about remembering the word. Shavuot se trata de recordar la palabra. And what did they do to Yeshua? ¿Y qué hicieron con Yeshua? When he was on the cross. Cuando él estaba en la cruz. Why did the centurion stick the spear in his side? ¿Por qué el centurión es que traspasó su costado? Why did he stick the spear in his side? ¿Por qué traspasó su costado? Dr. Mark, just confirm what I'm going to say. When you're, when you're on the cross and you're in major distress and your heart is beating around 220 times per minute, what happens around the pericardial sac of the heart? It fills up with water, he says. And when the soldier stuck the spear, y el le con what la came lanza, out of Yeshua? Que salió de Yeshua? Blood and water. Y agua. Shavuot is about striking the rock. Se trata de la piedra. And the living water comes out of the, of, of the rock. Y el agua viva saldrá de la roca. What did Yeshua say about himself? ¿Qué dijo Yeshua acerca del mismo? I am the rock which the builders Rejected. Yo soy la roca que los constructores rechazaron. Welcome to Beth Goyim. Bienvenidos a Beth Goyim. I love when people go, oh, wow. Me encanta cuando la gente se I just sorprende. got another feather in the pillow at, in heaven. 
Solo que he adherido a otra plumita en la almohada en el cielo. Now look at verse 8 through 10. Now los versos 8 a 10. Then Amalek came and fought with Israel at Rephidim. Moshe said to Jehoshua, Choose men for us. Go out, fight with Amalek tomorrow. I will stand at the top of the hill with God's staff in my hand. Jehoshua did as Moshe had told him and fought with Amalek. Then Moshe and Aaron and her went up to the top of the hill. Amen? What Shavuot is Shavuot is remembering our first battle. So picture the scene. Imagínate la escena. We got to go out and fight against Amalek. Tenemos que salir a pelear con Amalek. And there you got Moses. Y tienes a Moisés. Come on, picture Moses. Imagínate a Moisés. He's 80 years old. Tiene 80 años. He's 80 years old. Tiene 80 años. We got to go up to the top of the mountain. Tenemos que subir a la cima de la montaña. It's going to take a while. Va a tomar un tiempo. It's a hell. Es una colina. I'm old. Y estoy viejo. I got these shoes on here. Tengo estos zapatos. I'm going to take this staff. Voy a tomar mi vara. And what does Moses do? ¿Y qué es lo que Moses hace? When Moses lifted his arms. Cuando Moisés levantó sus brazos. Israel was winning. Israel ganaba. But he's an 80 year old. How long can an 80 year old hold up his arms? Pero tiene 80 años. ¿Cuánto tiempo puede un, un, un Oscar, hold up your arms for a while. Let's see what happens. Levanta tus manos y veamos qué pasa. Why is this important? ¿Por qué esto es importante? Why is this important? Porque es esto importante. It's very important for Shavuot this year. Es muy importante para Shavuot de este año. When you're raising your hands, cuando estás levantando tus manos, it's like a banner. Es como una bandera. Look at verse 10 through uh, 10 through 16 now. Versos 10 al 16. Yehoshua did as Moshe had told him and fought with Amalek. Then Moshe and Aaron and her went up to the top of the hill. When Moshe raised his hands, Israel prevailed. When he let them down, Amalek prevailed. However, Moshe's hands grew heavy. So they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat on it. And Aaron and Hur held up his hands. The one on the one side and the other on the other side. So that his hands stayed steady until sunset. Then Yehoshua defeated Amalek, putting their people to the sword. Yehovah said to Moshe, Put in a book to be remembered and tell, that, tell it to Yehoshua. I will completely blot out the memory of Amalek from under heaven. Moshe built an altar, called it Yehovah Nisi, and said, because the hand, their hand was against the throne of Yah, Yehovah will fight Amalek generation after generation. Amen? Moses' hands were waving in the air. La Mois, las manos de Moisés estaban meciéndose en el aire. They, they fought until evening, it says. Pelearon hasta la tarde, dice. He waved his two banners in the air. Él movió sus dos estandartes It's en el aire. very important to understand Shavuot. Es muy importante el entender Shavuot. That you got to wave your banners in the air. Que tienes que mecer tus, uh, tus estandartes oh, en el aire. Oh, it's much deeper than that. Es mucho más profundo que eso. We're going to wave our banners. Vamos a mecer nuestros there's something that's going on in the world today there were two banners being waved in our face lately anybody ever see that rainbow flag lately the fag flag the fag flag is waving in our face and that is a demonic flag they're waving that banner in our face you Christians you, you can't do nothing well I'm not a Christian but I will do something but there's another banner that's waving in our face it's a black banner it's got some Arabic writing on it it's the ISIS banner Two banners. Dos banderas. But when Moses raised his hand, Pero cuando Moisés levantó su mano, when we raise our banner in the air, cuando levantamos nuestro, nuestro we conquer the mano. enemy of God. Conquistamos el enemigo de Dios. And it's not the fags. Y no son los homosexuales. It's not ISIS. No es ISIS. It's Satan. Es Satanás. 
We raise our hands on Shavuot. And victory for God's law is good. And we confirm that victory. That's what you're going to be doing tonight. Later on when we read the commandments and we raise our hands high in the air we're waving our Jehovah Nisi that there is a God in heaven there is a God in heaven that rules this world and he's looking for his people to raise their hands high in the air above the fag flag and above the ISIS flag and say that there is one God and we raise our Jehovah Nisi Amen Amen, Amen. now let's go to chapter 18 Verse 19 through 23. You learning something? Oh, he used a bad word. Fag means fascist, guys. Get the real meaning. It means fascist. That's where the word faggot comes from. Fascist. Look it up. Gay meant happy. Now it's turned to be something bad. Gay men is gay is significaba feliz, pero ahora lo ponen en algo malo. We're going to raise our Jehovah Nisi. Vamos a levantar nuestro Jehovah Nisi. Exodus 18, verse 19 through 23. Ahora Exodus what? 18, verse 19 through 23. 18 versos 19 al 23. So listen now to what I have to say. I will give you some advice, and God will be with you. You should represent the people before God and should bring their cases to Elohim. You should also teach them the laws and teachings and show them how to live their lives and what work they should do. But you should choose from among all the people of competent men who are God-fearing, honest and incorruptible, to be their leaders in charge of thousands, hundreds, fifties, tens. Normally they will settle the people's disputes. They should bring you the difficult cases, but ordinary matters they should decide themselves in this way, you will make it easier for you to share the load with you. If you do this, and Elohim is directing you to do it, you will be able to endure, and all these people will arrive at their destination peacefully. Amen? What chapter 18 is now telling us, Lo que el 18 nos está diciendo, and remember, this happened in that 50-day period. Recuerda que esto pasó en ese periodo de 50 días. What Yitro, Moshe's father-in-law, is saying. Yitro, el, el suegro de Moisés, dice. What he's saying here. Lo que él está diciendo aquí. Is that you will be taught the laws of God. Es que a ti se te enseñará las leyes de Dios. You will be taught the laws of God. Serás enseñado las leyes de Dios. Shavuot is remembering being taught the laws of God. Shavuot significa recordar las leyes de Dios. Now let's go to Shemot 19. Ahora vámonos a Éxodo 19. And we're going to read a very long passage. Y vamos a leer un pasaje muy largo. We're now going to look at verse 1 through 25. Vamos a leer del 1 al 25. Can you handle about another 20, 25 minutes? ¿Quién puedes aguantarte de 20 a 20 minutos? So you can wave your uh, Jehovah okay. Nisi before the Lord. Así puedes meser tu Jehovah Nisi. No, we can't. You should leave now. Si no puedes irte ahora. Shemot 19, verse 1 through 25. In the third month after the people of Israel had left the land of Egypt, the same day they came to the Sinai Desert, after setting out from Rephidim and arriving at the Sinai Desert, they set up camp in the desert. There in front of the mountain, Israel set up camp. Moshe went up to Elohim and Jehovah called to him from the mountain. Here is what you are to say to the household of Yaakov, to tell the people of Israel, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I carried you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, if you will pay careful attention to what I say and keep my covenant, then you will be my own treasure from among all the peoples, for all the earth is mine. Wow. And you will be a kingdom of Kohanim, for me a nation set apart. These are the words you are to speak to the people of Israel. Moshe came, summoned the leaders of the people, and presented them with all these words which Jehovah had ordered him to say. Well, the people answered as one. Everything Jehovah has said, we will do. 
Moshe reported the words to Jehovah. Jehovah said to Moshe, See, I'm coming to you with a thick cloud so the people will be able to hear when I speak with you and also to trust in you forever. Moshe had told Jehovah what the people had said. So Jehovah said to Moshe, Go to the people today and tomorrow. Separate them for me by having them wash their clothing and prepare for the third day. For on the third day, Jehovah will come down on Mount Sinai before the eyes of all the people. You are to set limits for the people all around and say, be careful not to go on the mountain or even touch its base. Whoever touches the mountain will surely be put to death. No hand is to touch him, for he must be stoned or shot by arrows. Neither animal nor human will be allowed to live. When the shofar sounds, they may go up to the mountain. Moshe went down from the mountain to the people and separated the people for God. They washed their clothing. He said to the people, prepare for the third day. Don't approach a woman. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder, lightning, and a thick cloud on the mountain, and the shofar blast was so, sounded so loudly that all the people in the camp trembled. Moshe brought the people out of the camp to meet Elohim. They stood near the base of the mountain. Mount Sinai was enveloped in smoke because Jehovah descended onto it in fire. Its smoke went up like the smoke from a furnace. And the whole mountain shook violently. The sound of the shofar grew louder and louder. Moshe spoke and Elohim answered him with a voice. Jehovah came down on Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain. Then Jehovah called Moshe to the top of the mountain. And Moshe went up. Jehovah said to Moshe, go down and warn the people not to force their way through to Jehovah to see him. If they do, many of them will perish. Even the Kohanim who are allowed to approach Jehovah must keep themselves holy. Otherwise, Jehovah may bring out against them. <coughs> Moshe said to Jehovah, the people, you can't, the people can't come up to Mount Sinai because you ordered the, to set limits around the mountain and separate it. But Jehovah answered him, go, get down then, come back up. You and Aaron with you, with you. But don't let the Kohanim and the people force their way through to come up to Jehovah or we'll break out against him. So Moshe went down the people and told them. Amen? Amen. Let's break this apart. Dividamos esto. Verse 1. Verso 1. In the third month after the people of Israel had left the land of Egypt, same day they came into to the Sinai Desert. Amen? Amen? What did we enter in this week? ¿En qué entramos esta semana? The third month. El tercer mes. We entered into the third month. Entramos al tercer mes. All this happened Todo esto pasó. in that 50-day period. En ese periodo de 50 días. When is Shavuot? Cuando es Shavuot? Third month. Tercer mes. Look at verse 3. Veamos al verso 3. Moshe went up to Elohim and Jehovah called to him from the mountain. Here is what you are to say to the household of Jacob to tell the people of Israel. Amen? Why do you have those two groups there? ¿Por qué tienen los dos grupos allí? Why is the household of Yaakov ¿Por qué la casa de Jacob and the people of Israel? Y la gente de Israel? What's so important about that? ¿Qué es tan importante de eso? There's Jew and Gentile. Hay judío y gentil. The household of Yaakov la is ca my bloodline. La casa de Jacob es mi línea sanguínea. You who don't know that you're Jewish here, Ustedes que no saben que son judíos aquí, you are the people of Israel, Ustedes son la gente de Israel that are going to receive God's Torah. Que van a recibir la Torah de Dios. That's why there's the two names there. Por eso es que hay dos nombres ahí. A mix multitude was there. Una multitud mix estuvo allí. Ruth, your people were there. Tu gente estuvo Ruth, ahí. Mexican Ruth, your people were there. Tu gente estuvo David, ahí. David, with that nose, you were probably there anyway. Con esa nariz quizá tú estuviste ahí. The Ecuadorians, all you guys. Los ecuatorianos, todos ustedes. You're part of the house of Israel. Ustedes son parte de la casa de Israel. Now look at verse 4. Ahora veamos el verso 4. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, how I carried you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Amen. God is saying, I'm going to elevate you. That's why Shavuot is about leavened bread. Dios dice, voy a elevarte, por eso es que Shavuot se trata de pan uh, con levadura. Let's look at verse 5 and 6. Veamos a los versos 5 y 6. Now, if you pay careful attention to what I say and keep my covenant, then you will be my own treasure from among all the peoples, for all the earth is mine. And you will be a kingdom of Kohanim, for me, a nation set apart. There, these are the words 
You are to speak to the people of Israel. Amen? Amen. You see, it's not the house of uh, Jacob. It's not the household of Jacob. No es la casa de Jacob. It is the people of Israel. Es la gente de Israel. Okay? What he's saying there is if you follow my ways, Lo que está diciendo es si mis caminos, you will be a kingdom of priests. Tú serás un reino de sacerdotes. This is what Peter quotes. Eso I'm not going to turn to it. Que Pedro citó, no Just vamos write a it down. Solo escriba, no. In 1 Peter chapter 2. En primera de Pedro, capítulo Verse 7 dos, through 10, verso siete al diez, where he says, We will be a nation of priests, donde dice, seremos nación de sacerdotes, but only pero solamente, if you keep the commandments of God. Si guardan los mandamientos del Señor. Look at it, verses 7 and 8. Moshe came and summoned the leaders of the people and presented them with all these words which Jehovah had ordered him to say. All the people answered as one. Everything Jehovah has said, we will do. Moshe reported the words of the people to Jehovah. Amen? This is why we're going to read the Ten Commandments. Por eso es que vamos a leer los mandamientos. And before you lift up your bread, y antes de que levantes tu pan, I'm going to ask if you agree to these words. Voy a preguntar si estás de acuerdo con estas palabras. Because if you don't, Porque si no lo haces, don't lift up your bread. No levantes tu pan. Don't say anything. No digas nada. But if you do, Pero si lo haces, God's going to raise you up. Dios te va a elevar. But you're also more responsible. Pero también serás más responsable. Because too much is given, Porque much is required. Because you're going to agree. Porque va a estar de you're supposed to be leaders. Tú debes ser leader. Now look at verse 10 and 11. Ahora vamos a los versos 10 y 11. So Jehovah said to Moshe, go to the people today and tomorrow, separate them by having them wash their clothing and prepare for the third day. From the third day, Jehovah will come down on Mount Sinai before the eyes of all the people. That's what today is all about. De eso se trata este día. Washing our clothes. De so you're ropa. supposed to come to, to Shabbat in good clothes. De de haber venido a Shabbat en It's not supposed ropa. to be slob clothes. No ropas, uh, de cualquiera. You're supposed to be meeting sí. with the king today. Te encontrar con el rey hoy. You're supposed to be dressed appropriately. Deberías vestirte apropiadamente. You're supposed to prepare. Debías haberte preparado. Let's look at verse 12 and 13. Veamos a los versos 12 y 13. You are to set limits for the people all around and say, be careful not to go up on the mountain or even touch its base. Whoever touches the mountain will surely be put to death. No hand is to touch him, for he must be stoned or shot by arrows. Neither animal nor human will be allowed to live. When the shofar sounds, then they may go up on the mountain. Amen? Amen. So God is setting limits. Dios está poniendo limites. Before you go up there, there are strong penalties. Hay penalidades fuertes. Now in verse 14 and 15. Versos 14 y 15. Moshe went down from the mountain and the people separated the people for Elohim and they washed their clothes. He said, prepare for the third day. Don't approach a woman. Amen? Amen. Why did he say that? ¿Por qué dice él eso? Because if you approach a woman, you are ceremoniously unclean until evening. Porque si te acercas a una mujer vas a estar un, eh, impuro por, to, por la tarde, hasta la tarde. God wants your focus on him in him alone. Dios quiere que te enfoques en él y él nada This más. is not Yom Kippur. No es Yom Kippur. Where there's a full fast. Donde es una un ayuno completo. But it's a time of no marital relations. Pero es un tiempo de no relaciones maritales. Verse 16. Verso 16. In the morning of the third day there was thunder, lightning, and a thick cloud. The mountain and the shofar blast was sounded so loudly that all the people in the camp trembled. Imagine the sound, people. Imagínate ese sonido. Imagine the sound. Imagínate el sonido. Amen. Amen. Calling the people to order. Llamando a la gente a orden. But so loud. Pero tan so loud that there was an earthquake. 
so loud that there was an earthquake. Tan fuerte que hubo un terremoto. So the people in the camp were trembling. Porque la gente en el campo estaban temblando. Why do you think there's earthquakes going on all around the globe? ¿Por qué crees que están pasando los terremotos en el mundo? Why do you think there are those two disgusting banners being waved? ¿Por qué crees que hay esas dos uh, banderas desagradables repugnantes? There's another thing that's going around. Hay otra cosa que está pasando. People are hearing the shofar. La gente está escuchando shofar. But not this one. No este. In the sky. En el cielo. Oh. Welcome to Beth Coin. Now Bienvenido you know the reason why. Ahora sabes la razón por qué. Every year, Cada all año, of a sudden, go, 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 go YouTube it. Búscalo en YouTube. It sounds like that shofar. Suena como un shofar. God is calling. Dios está llamando. God is trembling the ground. Dios está moviendo la tierra. Trying to get your attention, Daniel. Está tratando de llamar tu atención. Now let's look at verse 17 and 18. Moshe brought the people out to the camp to meet God. They stood near the base of the mountain. Mount Sinai was enveloped in smoke because Jehovah descended on it in fire and the smoke went up like the smoke within the furnace and the whole mountain shook violently. Twin Towers, could you come back? <laughs> Cartwright and Ewing, could you please come here? I used to watch a little basketball. I even went to a basketball game turn around just like. Now picture the scene. Imagínate esta escena. It's a mountain. Es una montaña. Now the heads are cut off on the video. Ahora sus cabezas están cortadas al video. Okay? Now I'm behind these guys. Estoy detrás de estos muchachos. Now you understand why in Acts 2 the fire came and rested on their heads. Ahora puedes ver en Hechos 2 porque el fuego descansó en sus cabezas. Because in Exodus 19 it said that. Porque en Éxodo 19 decía. So I'm standing behind this guy here. Estoy parado detrás de este muchacho aquí. What? What's going on? ¿Qué es lo que está pasando? Jimmy Crickets. <laughs> and their heads are on fire. This is why in Acts chapter 2, you see that the fire rested on the disciples' heads. Ustedes ven que el fuego descansó sobre las cabezas de los discípulos. I'm behind them. Yo estoy detrás de ellos. They don't look like Catholics. No parecen católicos. You know, with the dish around the head, right? Con el plato alrededor de la cabeza. All I'm seeing was fire. Todo lo que ves fuego. And it looked like Joshua's head was on fire. Pareciera que la cabeza de Joshua. Looked like Stephen's head was on fire. Parece que la cabeza de Stephen está en fuego. Now you understand what was being shown. Ahora entiendes lo que se estaba mostrando. Let's move on to Exodus 20. Vamos a Exodus 20. Let's read verse 1 through 17. Leamos los versos 1 al 17. 15 more minutes. 15 minutos más. 15 minutes. Salud. 15 minutos más. Huh? In bathroom break, we're going to wave our bread and then you can go to the bathroom while we're eating bread. <laughs> Shemot 20 verse 1 through 17. Listen closely. Then Elohim said all these words. I am Jehovah your Elohim who brought you out of the land of Egypt out of the abode of slavery. This is what's all being said on Shavuot. You are to have no other gods before me. You're not to make for yourselves a carved image of any kind of representation of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or over the water line below the shoreline. You are not to bow down to them or serve them, for I, Jehovah your Elohim, am a jealous Elohim, punishing the children for the sins of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but displaying grace to the thousandth generation of those who love me and obey my mitzvot. You are not to use lightly the name of Jehovah your Elohim, because Jehovah will not leave unpunished someone who uses the name lightly. Four, remember the day Shabbat to set it apart for Elohim. You are to have six days to labor and do all your work. Well, on the seventh day is a Shabbat for Jehovah your Elohim, and on it you are not to do any kind of work. Not you, your son, your daughter, your male, your female slave, not your livestock, not the goyim, the foreigner, staying with you inside the gates of your property. For in six days Jehovah made heaven and earth and the sea and everything in them. But on the seventh day he rested. And this is why Jehovah blessed the day Shabbat separated for himself, 
pay honor your father and mother so that you will live long in the land which Jehovah your Elohim is giving you. Vav, do not murder. Zion, do not commit adultery. Chet, do not steal. Tet, do not give false evidence against your neighbor. Yod, do not covet your neighbor's house. Do not covet your neighbor's wife, his male or female slave, his ox, his donkey, or everything that anything that belongs to your neighbor. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. All right. This is what was given to us es lo que se nos dio. on the 50th day after the Bikarim. En el día 50 después de Bikarim. Now, let's go back to verse 2. But now we're going to read it in Hebrew. Pero ahora lo leeremos en Hebreo. Okay? Everybody say, Anochi, Anochi. Jehovah, Jehovah. Elohecha. Elohecha. What that means literally in Hebrew ¿Qué significa esto literalmente en hebreo? is I am the God of you. Yo soy el Dios de ti. What that is saying lo que está diciendo, and what we're going to commit to y en lo que nos vamos a today, el día de if hoy, you weigh that bread, si meses este pan, you're going to say you own me God because he's saying I own you, I'm the God of you. Porque dice, Tú me perteneces, soy tu Dios. The second commandment el segundo mandamiento, Everybody say lo, lo, yie, yie, lecha, lecha, Elohim, Elohim, acharim, acharim, al penei, al penei. That means Esto you shall not have any other gods next to my face. No debes tener otros dioses junto a mi rostro. Actually, it says faces. Dice mis rostros. Because panim, porque panim, is plural. Es el plural. So that's the Elohim again. Ese es Elohim otra vez. You're not to put anything next to his face. No puedes poner nada junto a not su rostro. the makeup. No, not changing the color of your hair. No cambiar el color not de putting papel. blue fingernail polish on. No poniéndose color Nothing de in front of God. Nada en frente de Dios. Not one little thing. Ni una cosa pequeñita. If you're going to wave your bread. Si vas a mecer tu pan. You got to say this before the Lord that you're agreeing to this. Tienes que decir esto ante el Señor y debes estar de acuerdo. Third commandment. Tercer mandamiento. Everybody say lo. Todos dicen lo. Tisa. Tisa. Et. Et. Shem. Shem. Yehova. Yehova. Elohecha. Elohecha. Lashav. Lashav. You shall not use his name as vanity. No utilizará su nombre como vanidad. What is vanity? ¿Qué es vanidad? Something that you could put on. Algo que te puedes poner. Something you can take off. Y algo que te lo puedes quitar. Vanity means, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. La vanidad significa, ay Dios, ay Dios. Don't do that. No hagas eso. If you're going to wave your bread, si vas a mecer tu pan, you shall no longer do that anymore. No debes hacer eso más. He's our husband. Él es nuestro esposo. He's the God of us. Él es el Dios de nosotros. Dalit, the fourth commandment. Everybody say Zakor, Zakor et, et Yom, yom Hashabat, Lakacho. Ha You'll remember that one. Remember the day el día of Shabbat, Shabbat to keep it Kadosh, holy. Santo, kadosh. That means from now on, que de ahora en adelante, unless you know, you're stuck at work, a no ser you've que already started your day, trabajo, but día. if you can, Pero si puedes, 24 hours for God. 24 horas para Dios. Sundown to sundown. De atardecer a atardecer. Don't shortchange him anymore. No cambies más. If you're going to wave your banner, si vas a mecer tu pan, you want to conquer ISIS and the homos, quieres con conquistar a ISIS y a los you homos have to sexuales. wave your banner up high. Tienes que mecer tus, tus banderas. And God will honor it on this Shavuot. Y Dios lo honrará en este Shavuot. And he says to keep the Sabbath holy 120 times in the Bible. Y dice, guarda el Shabbat Santo 120 veces en la Biblia. And talks about salvation once. Habla de la salvación una vez. Pretty important to God. Muy importante para Dios. Going on to the, the fifth commandment. Vámonos al quinto mandamiento. Everybody say Kabed. Et. Abika. Abika. Veet. Veet. Imaka. Imaka. Honor your father and mother. Honra a tu padre y a tu madre. Now what does this mean? ¿Qué significa eso? Well, you know, do I got honor my, my mother and father? They're pagans. Tengo que honrar a mi padre y a mi madre si son paganos. You gotta go treat them with respect. Tienes que tratarlos con respeto. 
respect con respeto because they brought you into this world porque ellos te trajeron a este mundo and what it means literally y lo que significa literalmente honor the father and mother of you ownership honra al padre y madre de ti muestra propiedad that's what the fifth commandment means eso es lo que significa el quinto mandamiento your parents own you children tus padres son dueños de ti niños I don't care if you are in your own house I still own you no importa si tienes tu propia casa aún soy Moving on to the next one. Vamos six. a la siguiente, número 6. Everybody six. low? Low. Tear suck. Tear suck. That means do not murder. Dice no matarás. What is the difference between murder and killing? ¿Qué significa cuál es la diferencia entre ma asesinar y matar? Killing is you're driving your car. Ma matar es uh, manejar su carro. And your wheel falls off. Y tu y el um, el volante se sale. You should have taken it to the mechanic. Debiste haber al mecánico. But you didn't. Pero no lo hiciste. The wheel falls off. La llanta se cae. And you get into a car accident. Y te te metes en una accidente. And somebody dies. Y alguien muere. That is killing. That is not murder. Eso es matar. Eso no es asesinar. Murder means. Asesinar significa. I hate that guy. Odio ese hombre. I'm gonna get him. Me voy a voy a puedes quitarme. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that that girl Ruth. She looked at me wrong. Voy a desquitarme esa mujer Ruth. I'm going to get it. She turns it back. Tan pronto que ella se dé la vuelta. That's what murder is. Eso es lo que es asesinar. Going on to the next commandment. Vamos al siguiente mandamiento. Everybody say low. Low. Teen off. Teen off. You shall not commit adultery. No cometerás adulterio. What is adultery? Que es adulterio. Pornography. Pornografía. That's adultery. Eso es adulterio. You're coveting something that ain't yours. Estás diciendo algo que no es tuyo. And if you're not married, looking at anything that ain't yours. Husbands and wives, you own one another, you can look at one another in any way you want. Okay? You got to agree to this rule. Next one. Everybody say low. Low. Tig no. No. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa? You shall not steal. No, no robarás. Not even a battery off my podium, Eduardo. Ni una pila de mi podium. <laughs> not a pencil off of somebody's desk. Ni el lápiz de alguien del escritorio. Taking anything that's not yours. Tocar, toma, tocar algo que no es tuyo. This is what was given on Shavuot. Very Esto simple. Es lo que se nos da Shavuot. Not Muy very simple. hard, right? No es tan difícil, ¿verdad? Going on to the next one. Vamos a la próxima. Everybody say low. Low. Ta'ane. Ta'ane. Verecha. Verecha. Ed. Ed. Shaker. Shaker. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. No darás falso testimonio en contra de tu vecino. This is going to be one of the hardest ones for people coming here. I've heard this a lot. Eso va a ser un dif algo difícil para la gente que viene aquí. He escuchado mucho. I don't want to hear any more gossip anymore. No quiero escuchar más chismes. I'm tired of this crap. Estoy cansado de esta basura. If you don't got something nice to say, shut your mouth. Si no tienes nada bueno que decir, cierra tu boca. You got a problem with somebody, go directly to them. Tienes problemas con una persona, ve directamente con ellos. Because this is bearing false witness. Porque esto es levantar falso testimonio. That's bearing false Gossip is false witness. El chisme es falso testimonio. You got something bad to say? Go directly to that person. Tienes algo malo que decir, ve directamente a esa You want to wave your bread, you better... Quieres it's hard in this culture. Es duro en esta cultura. Well, I was just praying for... No, you weren't. Be honest. Because God knows your heart. If you're going to agree and lift up your banner, understand that God is talking about gossip here. Because you're going to go to hell for gossip. Moving on to the next one. Vamos a la siguiente. Last one. Última. Everybody say low. Low. Talk mode. Talk mode. You shall not covet. No desearás. 
So that deals directly with pornography. Eso de, es directamente en contra de la pornografía. It might someday get a little warm out there. En algún momento se va a calentar. And you might like, you know, see women that are half naked while you're driving around. Y quizá vean mujeres que están medias desnudas cuando manejan. You know, a lot of people don't dress very properly. Mucha gente no se viste apropiadamente. They got things hanging out all over the place. Tienen cosas colgando en todo lugar. You got that whole thing going on in New York City, free the nipple. Tienes toda esa cosa que está pasando en Nueva York libera. It's just demonic. Eso es algo. It is just demonic. Es algo satánico. Why would we have that? ¿Por qué tenemos eso? Because Satan knows that you're going to covet that. Porque Satanás sabe que tú vas a desear eso. What is homosexuality all about? ¿De qué se trata el homosexualismo? It's about the flesh. Se trata de la carne. It's about the flesh. Se trata de la carne. So here God has laid out these commandments. Dios ha puesto estos mandamientos. Now, Ahora, let's come to the end. Vamos al final. How many people want to agree to these commandments? ¿Cuántos están de acuerdo con estos mandamientos? You want to agree to these commandments? Please stand up. ¿Estás de acuerdo con estos Get the children so they can be involved with this, please. Everybody come together with your families. Or bring your bread and go back over there with your wife unit. Get your bread ready. Go with your mother and father, you two. Get your bread ready. Unwrap your breads. We're, they're coming. Lev, go with daddy. They're being, they're being brought out. Those that are awake. Get your breads ready. Unwrap them because you're going to need to take a bite. Unwrap. Mila, come by daddy. Come by daddy and grandma. Andy, Andy, get by your mother. <laughs> all right, everybody. That's the children. All the children come out. Okay, has everybody got their bread? Todos tienen su pan. Amen. Now what we're doing Lo que estamos haciendo is we're, we're, we're going to take back the world. Es que vamos a tomar el mundo we're going to be vuelta. raising our hands for God. Levanten sus manos para Dios. Shh. We're going to be standing against the evil other banners of the world. Y vamos a pararnos en contra del malvado del mundo. If you are in agreement si with the Ten Commandments that were read, con los diez mandamientos que leímos, Everybody say, Amen. Amen. Everybody in this room? Todos en esta habitación. Are you in agreement with all ten of the ten commandments? Están de acuerdo con todos los diez mandamientos. Amen. Amen. You're going to keep the Sabbath holy? Van a guardar el sábado santo. You're going to follow God? Van a seguir a Dios. Amen. You're going to keep his name holy? Y van a guardar su nombre santo. You're going to not covet anymore? No vas a desear más. You're going to not gossip anymore? No vas a mentir más. Thank you, Lord, for this time. Gracias, Señor, por este tiempo. We lift up our hands to you. Levantamos nuestras manos para In adoration ti. to you, Lord. En adoración a ti. We lift our banners up high. Levantamos nuestras banderas en lo alto. Because you are the one who fights for us. Porque tú eres el que pelea por nosotros. You are the one that carried us on eagles' wings. Tú eres el que nos ha llevado en las alas de águila. And on this Shavuot. Y en este Shavuot. Jew and Gentile are here. El judío y el gentil están aquí. As one family. Como una familia. And we agree with your commandments. Y estamos de acuerdo con tus mandamientos. For they are good. Porque ellos son buenos. And you would never give us something bad. Nunca nos darás nada malo. We're going to say the prayer. Vamos a decir la oración. Brukatah, Yehovah Eloheinu, Melech HaOlam, Shasa Nisim, 
And it means, blessed are you. Bendito eres tú. Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah nuestro Dios, ruler of the universe, soberano del universo, who worked miracles que hizo milagros for our fathers para nuestros padres, in the days of old. En los días antiguos, at this time, en este tiempo, we lift our bread to you, Lord, levantamos nuestro pan para because ti, Yeshua, Señor, you are the bread of life. Porque Yeshua, tú eres el pan de vida. And another prayer that is said, y otra oración que se dice, Brukata Yehovah Eloheinu Melech Alam, Shehekianu, Bekiyumanu, Behigianu, Lazman Hazet. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has brought us to the time for such as this. Bendito eres tu Yehovah Eloheinu. Amen. Wave them to the Lord. Wave them to the Lord. Somebody get a picture. Wave them to the Lord. Wave unto the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Lord. And take a bite. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed, by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture. Truly, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend a day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai 
deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close the Shabbat together with a reading of the new week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, Yeshua. Shalom.